everybody, and welcome to episode 18 of the Power World series. Let's throw this thing out? No, I meant to throw the Patalia out. You, get crafting. Actually, you know what? Prioritize this armor. I want better armor. I want to not be plushy. I'm sick of being so soft. Well, these are done. Good. Can I make more of them? What did this take again? Pallium fragments. That's the issue. Never mind. Ingots. Those are the real issue. Me and all my friends are apparently hungry. Where are my berries? I must fix the hunger problem. Let's take these baked berries. Put them in here. Let's see, we'll take 70 normal berries. Might seem excessive, but if we look at this, this Batalia eats like, what, that was 15 almost? <laughs> it was a lot. So, of course we need that many. Let's see, we have five of these effigies and we need seven for the next upgrade. So we'll try to get two when the nighttime rolls around. How's that armor looking? Ooh. Done. Literally as I approached. Wonderful. Let's see. What else do we need? I haven't seen anything else that requires bones. Actually, you know what? Let's craft this metal helm. See what that's about. Well, it's crafting faster than the armor, that's for sure. If I remember correctly, I set up a bunch of stone. Yes, I set it up to be turned into pallium over here. And I want a lot of it. Eh, it doesn't craft very quickly, but at least it's crafting in general. It's the only way to automate getting Paldium so I don't have to go and get it myself. And that's the end goal with this base, is to make it so that everything is automated. Let's put this over here. Actually, you know what, let's see if we have to transfer the stone from the logging site. Or, yes, quite a bit here. Grab this and the wood, walking in slow motion, and put it in this chest. They're not very good at transferring the resources, which is fine. We don't really need them to be great at that anyway. Well, the helmet's done. Okay, let's see what this does. The armor, 105 defense. My old armor, 35. Not even comparable. Damn, I'm tossing this out. Bye-bye. And the helmet. Oh, it was automatically equipped. Oh, okay. The helmet gives me an extra 50 defense. Also, I didn't realize this, but if you look under the defense stat, the armor is giving me 250 health. The helmet is also giving me another 100 health. That's pretty good. However, I'm going to have to be a little cautious because they're probably going to eat up ingots to repair. Hmm. Yes, as far as I can tell, the bones aren't really needed to craft anything else, so I'm just going to set up a bunch of cement to be made. The cloth is done. The arrows are getting there. Nice. Things are moving along smoothly. Oh, let's see. We'll dump cloth over here, along with some of this other stuff. I think these, penking plume and feathers, I think they're just sellables, it seems like. I might be wrong. I'm probably wrong. But oh well. Now we have cleared one of these towers. What I understand, there's four or five of them, but I think I have to go further north on the map to actually find them. What we could do, start heading toward these, these unchecked boss icons on the map, because this is the Chillette, the weird blue ferret looking thing. And after defeating it, I got that check mark. Same thing with the Pen King here. So maybe our goal should be to clear as many of these as possible. While we're at it, I think I'm gonna pay a visit to the dungeon. See how that's going. Sure, let's go do that now. I don't think there was anything important crafting. Yeah, we just have the concrete or whatever being crafted down there. So let's pay a visit to the dungeon, and then we'll go check out what that King Paka was on the map. Hooray for gliders. Now if I approach this, I can enter it since it's level 13. That's pretty weak. So I guess we'll just steamroll this very quickly. The most sensible way to do this, in terms of saving resources and not wasting my arrows, and probably the fastest, would be to just hop on the wool. So let's do that. Ooh. You know what, I might have to collect these Paldium ores. It's a good idea to come into the dungeon. Mao. I don't think I have ten of these. Well, now I've got one potential less, because that hit too hard. Sphere. There we go. I'm not sure how much of an impact it has to collect those effigies and increase your catching power with the statue. But I'm hoping it's good. Because, well, it's quite a bit of time dedicated to going around and getting collectibles on a map, essentially. Something that you would typically do in, say, like an old PlayStation 2 game, like the Spider-Man games or Prototype, after you've beaten everything, just to get that 100% for those PlayStation trophy hunters. Although I guess the PlayStation trophy system didn't exist until PS3, but you get the idea. I'm pretty sure Prototype was actually a PS3 game. This is ore. Don't care. Coal. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to bother just in case there's more Paldium ahead. Paldium is definitely a greater goal. What's up, nerds? What are you doing in this dungeon? 
This is officially my dungeon. No one else can enter. I kind of like this fierce fang move just because of how fast it recharges. You can use it almost back to back. Almost. I don't like that some of them just derp out up in corners like this. Makes it feel a little cheesy to merc them. Let's stick to the right wall. <laughs> I really do love the sounds that they make when you defeat them. It's amazing. Hmm. It seems like going through these dungeons is much easier on smaller tames. When we get the bigger ones, we're not going to want to ride them through here because, well, they're going to get caught in the doorways like when we were riding the deer prior. Stick to the right, hopefully find the boss room nice and quick. Ooh, free chest. Gold, pal spheres, and low-grade medical supplies. Okay, not that great of a chest, but a chest nonetheless. Fuddler. We saw some of these prior, I believe. See if we can't hit it without killing it. Nope, not our specialty. Ooh, Paldium. Don't mind if I do. Wouldn't mind just dragging hundreds of this back to the base. Allow us to craft the next best spheres. You know what? Ignore everything I just said. My pickaxe is broken. I'm out of here. <laughs> it's the ultimate way to just stop me from collecting resources, I guess. Eh? Where the heck did you guys come from? I already cleared this area. Alright, running back, sticking to the wall. That clearly wasn't the path that I was supposed to go. Kilimari. Kilimari. I don't think I have ten of these yet. What I'm about to. Oh. I gotta be careful, that fang move hits a lot harder than the rest of his stuff. Is that more fuddlers? Yes it is. Hit him with the sand blast thing. I could use my crossbow. Bang. There we go. Let's see if we can just catch it at half health. It says 44% I believe. Did you just resist my sphere? How dare you? <laughs> I guess if they break away, or swat away your sphere, you can just continue to throw at them. Until eventually it works. I guess it's chance-based, whether or not they can swat it. Listen, could you just stay in the sphere? I have nearly infinite of these, so I'm not too worried about that, but come on, man. Don't waste my time. I don't have anything that could hit you for less, do I? I have a spear. I could try that. Never mind, he didn't break out that time. Good. Let's keep rummaging through this dungeon. Sneak attack. <laughs> There's definitely room for improvement with their AI. That's uh, pretty undeniable. But I guess that's part of its charm. The other humans in this world are pretty damn derpy. Let's see. Empty room, nothing important. Some of these dorks attacking a Mao. You know what? I'm gonna catch this one. Just because I can. I said I'm gonna catch this one. I want that human. <laughs> it's my human now. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I still find it hilarious that you can even do that. These devs leaned hard into the D&D-like idea of do whatever the hell you want. Ah, oh, there's more Paldium ore here, but I can't collect it. If there was a portable repair kit for your equipment, that would be nice. Oh, I see a fuddler, but no way to get up to it. Hmm, gonna have to run around this way. <laughs> the wolf can jump, but not very high. Ooh, a chest. What do we have here? Megasphere. Sure, I guess. It's a freebie. Oop, that killed it. Whoopsie. There we go. Should be able to catch this one. 65%? That's basically 100. There. Only two more fuddlers to go, and then I can stop catching them. The XP bonus for catching new creatures, or at least the first 10 of a new creature, is so much more than everything else. I don't know how you could just not prioritize that. On to the next room. Oh, more pallium. Now they're just taunting me. Let's see. Now we go for a body shot? Yeah. Now we catch it. I have no idea how many of these Mao things I have now. I guess we're about to find out. Come on, stay in the sphere. Good kitty cat. I guess we have four of them, six to go. This is a pretty big dungeon compared to the others. Oh, never mind. I just reached the boss room. What are these? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna have to catch me a giant chickpea. Let's take out the small ones first. <laughs> Look at the angry eyes. Uh, it's everything. Don't die now. Good, I didn't die. That's a plus. Just gotta get its health nice and low. And yeah, that should probably be enough. Start throwing spheres. I don't know why I'm catching this thing. I don't think it's gonna help just having a higher statted chicken, but whatever. It's ours now. <laughs> now we're stuck with it. This is what we really want with the dungeons. This loot at the end. Attack pendant. What is that? Hold on. Where is it? Oh, it got equipped. It's an accessory. I can apparently have two of them. Slightly raises attack. 
Now if I unequip it, it says I have 100 attack here. Equip again, now it's 104. Interesting. Cool. What about this? Heat resistant undershirt and a ruby. And it automatically equipped it. Accessory that slightly raises heat resistance. Who'd have thunk it? Well, not a terrible pull. We got accessories. We didn't have any of those prior. And we have to fly our way back to the base. Upsy daisy. Can I even make it all the way up here before I run out of stamina? You really consume a lot of stamina on the birds if you hold shift. Or whatever your sprint button might be. Damn, I like this. The Tombats really are going to town on the ore now that I have the Pen Kings around. Since they're all miners. Let's go ahead and gather up the ore and set it up to cook. Best not to just leave it there laying on the ground. Who knows if they'll pick it up or if at some point it'll despawn. I don't know yet. I haven't learned enough about the game to find out. I'm just slowly walking toward the ore. I am very over encumbered. Okay, you know what? This will be a lot quicker if I just split the stack and drop it. There we go. Much better. Let's put the ore in there. And now pick this back up. Put it in there again. Oh, I leveled up. Neat, I guess. Set more ore to be cooked. Now what to put this level toward? Probably health. I still want to continue to become tankier. I must be more durable. And you get 100 points of health per point invested. That's pretty big. It also means, with that level up, that I can get... Oh, I went past it. Well, hypersphere's here, I guess. But more importantly, the sphere assembly line. What are we missing? 15 nails. Let's set that to craft real quick. Right over here. Nails. Well, we'll do 10 crafts for now. And set the battalion on it. Like so. Grab these leftover crafted air. Where are you going? Oh, the battalion decided to go around the bed. I... You know what? I don't need this, do I? I don't usually go to sleep during the nighttime in this game anyway. I like to explore. The dark makes it more entertaining. Hmm. What did those new spheres take? Oh, I guess I need to craft them at the sphere assembly line. So I have to wait for these nails to be done. That could take a moment. Hmm. I get the feeling that I should put down more berry plantations. Probably. Yeah, probably. Wouldn't hurt to have more. Let's go ahead and get one right here. If I can. Right there. Sure. <laughs> it's gonna look a little messy. I'm trying to keep these nice and compact. Since you can walk over them and so can the pals. This not hurt. I think three more should be more than enough. Because we've been doing all of what we've been doing with just two producing. So we're going up another 150% in production. We shouldn't need anything more than that. And if we create too many, then it'll take the pals away from their other jobs. Which you don't want. Would be nice to get more wheat seeds. I'd have to go into that north biome. I think I'll wait for these nails first. How's this egg looking? Oh, it's done. Let's go ahead and crack it open. Large damp egg. What have we got? A pen king. Pretty normal one too. So, let's try another egg. Large dark egg. Let's try that one. Right in here. 40 minutes. These large eggs take a while. A herd of passing relaxosaurus. Ah, uh, crap. Aren't these the things that can have rocket launchers on their shoulders? Where are they? Uh, if I look at my compass, this way. Oh boy. <laughs> then again, I think my base is in fact bugged out. So they might not even end up actually making it. They tend to get near that dungeon and then they just derp out. Come on. No, that missed terribly. You know what? We don't need air supremacy. Let's get on the wolf since he's faster. I'm gonna have all of you as friends. If I can just keep up with you. Okay. And there we go. These things are pretty quick. Stop running from me. Where's my spear? Come on. <laughs> oh, it looks like they can run through things to hurt them. He just ran into a lamb ball and damaged it. Right there should do. It's pretty low health. 24% catch rate? That's not bad. I think I could hit him one more time. There we go. 25? It's just a matter of time. You're gonna be mine. See? I told you. Alright, next. He went this way. Yeah, see, he went to the dungeon entrance and now he's just derping out. I mean, it's convenient for me, <laughs> but, eh, whatever. I guess I'm over it. Oh, that almost killed him. Hit him with a spear once, maybe twice, three times, four, there we go. 26%. <sighs> Don't break out. You're wasting everybody's time. Come on, stay in the ball. a boy. Now, I am curious, since I caught those, I should be able to see their saddle thing in the technology tree. Let me take a peek. Actually, before we do that, I want to keep my Patelia crafting at the base. It's no small thing having an extra creature at the base to do all of that. Get on them nails. 
Let's check this technology and look for the Relaxosaurus. From what I understand, you can ride them, or if you can't ride them, you can at least get rocket launchers on them somewhere. And I want to use rocket launchers. Where, oh where, is the Relaxosaurus? Was it further down? I didn't see it at all. I'm really bad at looking through these trees. When they have it dark and like grayed out like this, I just, I can't recognize the image. I don't want to sit here and read every word I'm scrolling through. No Relaxosaurus here. Let's try going further down, keeping an eye out. Well, wherever it is, it's a far higher level than what I can do. Oh, yeah, here it is. Level 44. It's gonna be a while. But hey, that's fine. Let's see what it does at the base. What skills does it have? Relaxosaurus. It has two watering and one transportation. That's kind of mid, honestly. <laughs> Don't need it. All right, you're done. Let's go ahead and get you over here. Grab these nails, which means we should collect this ore first. And the ingots. Now that should allow me to craft the sphere assembly line. I do believe. So let's come up here, feed some berries to me. And my friends. My wonderful, wonderful friends. Alright, now where do we want to put this assembly line? Oh, I'm taking damage from the cold. Where's my torch? So unequip the spear. Torch. Right there. Problem solved. That makes me curious. Would I stop taking damage from the nighttime cold if I had cold resistant under armor or under shirt, whatever, instead of heat? That would be nice. I'd definitely be willing to sacrifice this other accessory for that, just for the convenience factor. We have to look around for... The sphere assembly... Oh, it's right here. That was quick. Sphere assembly line. We'll put it a little away from the wall. Right around here. There we go. Now let's get the Battalia assigned to that instead. It's far more important. While you take care of that, I'll have to set up a generator. Oh, I need more electric organs. So I'm going to have to go find any electric creature, really, and merc them. Hmm. Suppose that could be our objective for the night time. We do need those organs. Sure, that'll be our goal. Off into the night we go. Now, near this other base, there's usually those jolt hog things. So we'll have to look around for those. Let's go ahead and hop on the wolf and start looking around for them. Ucrates, that's not what I want. I believe I also have ten of you already, so you're dead. Done for. Wasted. It's over here. Daydreams? No, that's not the objective. Where's the electric port? Hey, don't even bother. Stop trying to mess with me. Keep running around this mountain. Free pal sphere. Tombat. Might be worth catching. Eh, eh, probably not. I have plenty of them. Actually, you know what? No, I do want it. Just in case I decide to fill up this second base with a mining operation as well. So, start off strong. Let's get my spear out. Ouch. Oh, I don't have my spear equipped. Crossbow. I missed. There we go. Sphere. Luckily, I'm high enough level that I can just tank this thing's attacks, surprisingly. Don't do it. Ugh. They're very good at timing that attack so that they come out and whap you with the projectile right before you can catch them again. There we go. Free Tombat. Now, where, oh, where could those jolt hogs be? Stop messing around. I don't know why those depressos are aggro. They love to just attack by default. Very rude of them. Weird. There really is no jolt hogs. There usually is in this area. Maybe it's only during the daytime. That could be a thing. I wouldn't doubt it. A lot of parts of this map, this game, this system appear to be time-based. Oh, I found another dungeon. Okay. Works for me. Mark it right here. Dungeon. Stopping to think about it, I really haven't explored this region too much. I've mostly just ran around looking for places with ore to base up. Stop it. Stop trying to pick fights with me. You're gonna regret it every time. What did I just say? You didn't watch me just kill both of your friends? Whoa, he just went up and then down? Alrighty then. You say so. Sometimes logic just doesn't work in this game, and I kind of like it. Tansies have those who critiques don't care combat. I'll take it. Okay, that didn't hit somehow. You got it, boss. See if we can hit the sand attack. Nope, that killed him. Damn. Well, we tried. We tried our damnedest, and we damned our diddest. Damn pressos. Let's see. Oh, this is the bridge to the northern area. And there's also a boss to the west. We're gonna have to check that out. It's probably what I'll be doing in the next episode. Rather underachieved night is what we have here, but hey, they're not all going to be perfect. I was hoping to find some kind of electric creature, but... Oh, T-posing. Wonderful. I love to see it. Don't we all? <laughs>
Everything is T-posing. Even the R socks. Oh no. He was, <laughs> he was lying down, but it was just sliding across the ground. Love to see it. But this has been episode 18 of the Pal World series. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next episode. But for now, goodbye.